Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Break. I'm Aileen, and today we're building some Lego. Now this is actually a retired set, but I'm sure you can still find it around on the secondary market. And let's face it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles never go out of style. So this is set 79102, Stealth Shell in Pursuit. It's 162 pieces, and it's got fish face. So let's get in here and check it out. Ta-da! All right, we have here the Stealth Shell in Pursuit. Obviously, over here we have the Stealth Shell. This uh, this was a fun set. It's got some really cool little parts in it. This took me about 15 minutes, so it's a, a nice, quick, fun little set from the Turtles. Uh, of course, we have one of the best Turtles, Raph, right? He's got his size. They're awesome. He's got an angry little face. Pretty cool. Got a foot soldier with his throwing star. We actually got three of those, so those are fun. And then, of course, oh my gosh, fish face. Oh, fish face. He's awesome. I love the colors. I love the way he's sculpted. Um, I actually kind of thought he was going to be that sort of weird rubbery feel uh, material that they have for, you know, like the friend's hair and all the, those kind of pieces. And I thought, oh, they're probably going to make him out of that. But they didn't. He's hard ABS. Like, that's awesome. Really cool. I like his face. So he's got his vehicle over here. Oh, his legs are rad. So he's got, come on, fish face. Get on your little thing. Oh, his arm is in the way. So he's got his boat over here. Now, if you've watched any of my reviews on my other channel, you know I don't usually like to put uh, the stickers on my Lego, although there are stickers for the two by two round tiles but it's fine, they function just fine without the stickers. I like to not put the stickers on because sometimes I like to reuse the parts for other models that I make later. So, also if you leave the stickers on, sometimes they fall off later or maybe I don't put them on right because I'm not that great at putting on stickers. So it's up to you, you know, whatever you want to do. So let's see here, I'm, we have these little uh, toxic green, neon yellowish kind of colored, I'm guessing they're canisters of ooze that were supposed to flip I'm guessing, again, back at Raph. So let's see. Oh, that's a good flip. That's got a good flip action. Don't point at anybody's eyes, kids. And then over here in the shell racer, oh man, there's a couple really good parts on here. There's the a modified two by three tile, but it's got the clips on it. And it's in, well, it's translucent black, but I like to call it smoky because it's like a clear smoky color. So that's a really fun piece. We've got a couple flames coming out the back, lots of green, really cool pieces. So if we take the size out of Raph's hands, I think we're supposed to be able to put him with his little turtle feet inside. Come on, go in your little turtle feet hole. There's like a little space inside for his little turtle feet and he hides here. Don't worry, there's clips on the side for the size and then boom, ready to go. This is a super fun little build. And of course it's got all the action from the, these little, oh, it never works when I do it. I make the noise, but it never, <laughs> you can shoot the little rockets out. Lots of fun play value in this set. I like it. Uh, again, it's a retired set, but you can always uh, find it at secondary places. You can find it at fan conventions, I'm sure. You can find it on uh, lots, lots of different secondary sites online, I'm sure. Amazon and eBay and Bricklink and all those great places uh, have it available. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm, I absolutely adore printed tile. I think printed tile is one of my favorite type of elements in Lego. And these little one by one rounds are amazing. And this one came with three like little gauges. So you could use it as a fuel gauge. You, in this case, it's, it's, there's a gauge on each side of the car right under Raph's feet kind of over there, but it could be fuel gauge. It could be monitoring something in an airport. It could be a spaceship gauge. It could be anything you want it to be. It's use your imagination. I think that's a super fun little part. Oh, and a third extra sigh. Thank you very much. So some of my other characters can use it throughout my my minifig collection so thanks for watching brick break go check out did you guys get this set what did you think did you build it did you like it what's your favorite ninja turtle set that lego's made so far let me know in the comments and i can't wait to hear from you thanks for watching brick break and i will see you next time right here don't forget to subscribe